Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, Columbus variation, 4, NF65.00B56.BB3BC5. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black played better than White in the opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. a6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. ba4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. nf6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. b5 gains space on the queen side and threatens the bishop on a4. bb3 retreats the bishop to a more active square. bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. Games master. It is the final book action. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses a fork piece threat. That's good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. It is ideal. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. This permits the opponent to kick a rook. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to kick a rook. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to kick a knight. This allows the opponent to kick a rook. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a rook. It is a miss. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy.
perfectly on point. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is quite good. This fails to offer an equal exchange of pieces in a better method. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is good. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is forced. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is forced. That's fine. It is good. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Black played better than white in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. 